PPPV is one of the commonest causes of vertigo and dizziness. It is caused by an autolith made of calcium carbonate getting dislodged into one of the canals of the inner ear. During head movement, this crystal moves within the canal to stimulate the nerve fibers and cause vertigo. The posterior canal is the most common position where the crystal gets trapped. The Dix Hallpike test is used to diagnose this condition. The patient is asked to sit on a bed with legs straight ahead. The head is turned by 45 degrees. The patient is then taken down to the head hanging position 30 degrees below the bed. This can also be achieved by placing a pillow under the shoulders of the patient. Look for nystagmus. In posterior canal BPPV, we see torsional upbeat nystagmus. After the dizziness settles down, bring the patient back to the sitting position. This test is repeated in a similar way on the left side. We need to determine which side causes nystagmus to be able to find out the side of involvement. After determining the side, we start the Epley's maneuver. Similar to the Dix Hallpike test, the patient is asked to sit on a bed looking forward. Now turn the head by 45 degrees towards the side of BPPV involvement. Make the patient lie down with the head hanging 30 degrees below the edge. Wait for 30 seconds after the dizziness subsides. Now turn the head by 90 degrees to the opposite side. Stay in this position for 30 seconds after the nystagmus settles. Now turn the patient by another 90 degrees to bring the head to the nose pointing down position. Again, wait for 30 seconds. After this, the patient is made to sit up It has been recommended to flex the neck of the patient on sitting to prevent the crystal from re-entering the canal. It is important to hold the patient in between steps to ensure that the autolith gets enough time to travel to the correct position in the canal.